Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to just a quick update really on Bitfinex. So if you do use Bitfinex, the exchange, and you have any tokens or coins in there, and you're within the United States, you should get your coins out. If you log in, they're going to give you a notice. It says that they're going to be closing down the platform for United States citizens. If you're in the United States, you won't be able to access their platform. Unfortunately, that's the case for a lot of crypto services and ICOs that if you're within the United States that you can't participate, which, you know, the United States says they're protecting us and all that. So according to Bitfinex, there's not a specific date, but they're just saying as soon as possible, if you're a United States citizen, move your tokens out of the exchange. If you do have some in there, you don't even notice, go to your wallets at the top and it'll show you your balances. Okay, so I have some IOTA on Bitfinex and I'm going to go download the IOTA wallet and move the IOTA from Bitfinex to the IOTA wallet. And I'm going to go through that. So in case you have IOTA in Bitfinex that you, you can do this too. So let's get started. I'm going to go to Google, search for IOTA wallet. And just look at the URL. This one's GitHub IOTA Ledger wallet release. And that's the official GitHub for IOTA. You can verify it if you go to that. IOTA official webpage, IOTA.org. And then if you scroll down after they do the little fancy intro. So down here, download GUI, the interface. And then if you say download a client, you can see it goes to GitHub IO Ledger wallet releases. Now we're safe. Just verify that we're not downloading a compromised wallet. You need to make sure you don't download a compromised wallet. Um, always verify the source where you get your wallets from. And if you're going to provide your private key to any wallet, be 10 times sure that the wallet is official and they're just not trying to get your private keys because that's a big issue that's going starting to happen and it's going to continue to happen with all these forks that are going on. So just hold your private keys tight. Like some YouTubers are saying that they had their private keys in Gmail. I don't believe that for one minute. Who, who leaves their private keys in Gmail? Definitely not somebody knowledgeable about cryptocurrency. There's no reason for your private keys to be in Gmail. Anyways, keep your private keys safe, hidden, and a few copies of them. So back to IOTA. We've, we verified this is the official download page, and we're going to download the wallet. So Windows, this doesn't say, a lot of times it'll say Windows, Mac, Linux. This one is not saying, but Windows is always the EXE file. So if you have Windows, download the EXE. Mac is always DMG. So if you have a Windows, I mean, if you have Mac, download the DMG. You know, Linux is the TAR and Debian, RPM, and maybe Ubuntu, but here's Debian. Those are for Linux, so don't worry about those. Either you're probably gonna be on Windows or Mac, or else you're gonna know what to do. Windows or Mac, Windows, EXE, Mac, DMG. So I'm on a Windows right now. I'm going to download that. You can see I already did it earlier. I'm just doing this again for you to show you how. So download that. Open up the EXZ. It's going to go to this install. And when it first opens up for you, it's probably going to ask you to do a light node or full node. I would do the light node. The full node is going to download the full complete ledger and it takes up hard drive space and resources. So I'm using the light, the light wallet right now. Since it didn't ask me since I've already went through that process. And then once you get to this point, it's going to ask you for a seed. And of course you don't have a seed. It's your first time using it. You just need to enter any seed. And if you go here, it tells you create a new account. See, so it needs to be 81 characters. Although it says you do not need to make it 81 characters long. But when I tried to do something shorter, it wasn't letting me. So just make, try to make it around 81 characters long. And you can only use uppercase letters and the number nine. No lowercase and no any no spaces, no special characters. And the only number you can use is, is nine. So uppercase letters and the number nine to create your seed. So now it's creating the wallet. This is the first time I got this far in the process. So we're all going through this for the first time right now. Earlier I just downloaded it and went to, I choose the light wallet, but I didn't set up the account. So now I have my Bitfinex in my iota wallet zero balance this looks like it's a let's see what this is oh it logged me out 
So that's the logout. <laughs> Just use your same seed that you created to log back in. So the, so the seed is like a private key. Don't lose that and don't share that. So this icon on the right is to log out. We don't want to do that. This is probably a menu. Send, receive, history. Okay, so let's go to receive. So I'm going to send one to make sure everything's set up and goes through. Click that, copies it. Come over to Bitfinex. Go to withdraw at the top. And here it's telling us we need to get these out as soon as possible, which is what we're doing. Go to IOTA on the left. Not two factor, not today. Put in your address there. Send them out one from the exchange wallet. Looks like you have to send two USD equivalent. Um, I don't even know the price of IOTA right now. Looks like five is, so I'm gonna send as least amount as I have to. I'm just testing to make sure it's going to work. So now I'm going to withdraw, confirm withdraw, and almost done. Check your email, approve withdraw, da, 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 da. approve, 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 going, withdraw, approve, check your email for details, and estimated withdrawal times. So, okay, so that's been sent. So I'm not sure how long this transaction will take. IOTA process one minute after approval, subject to hot wallet available balance, processed within 12 hours maximum. Seems to be a generic one hour, one minute to 12 hours. Okay, it's still been a couple hours. The transaction showed up in the history, but it has not been approved yet. So it's not verified, it's pending. So it looks like the address is correct. Looks like it's going to come through okay. Just it's gonna take a little time for it to show up in my balance. And on your IOTA, there's an attach to tangle button. So when you go to the receive tab, this is my actual wallet here. This is the, uh, it's a web, it's the support page of IOTA's website. So it's just explaining how the receive tab works. So this is your address. I guess if you do not click the attach to tangle, then it's not gonna remember your addresses. So I address, I am um, attached this one to tangle. Cause I get, I would like to remember the address. So. That's all that is for. I don't think you have to do that, but you can if you want to, if you want to remember your address. So it's still pending, but it did go through. But that's it for this video. It's just a quick update on Bitfinex. And if you have tokens in there, get them out as soon as possible, or you'll risk losing them. Peace. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.